Today we're going to talk about the walk pirouette because I've been playing with a new exercise that I got from Carl Hester, the man, the myth, the legend himself, and it's helped me understand the walk pirouette a little better and improve the walk pirouette. So it's pretty simple. It's just half pass to shoulder in to pirouette. And so I'm going to come down center line here. And I'm going to put him into a half pass. Which a half pass is really just haunches in on the diagonal. So just put his butt over here. And then once you've got a half pass, you go into shoulder in. You go into shoulder in here on the quarter line. And then once I feel like I've got a good spot, I'm going to do a walk pirouette to the left. So then I bring his shoulders around. Mm, that's a little bit slow, but that's okay. He's like, I haven't really been out here, but for a minute. <clears throat> so we'll do another one here. We'll do half pass right to R. Okay, bring his haunches in. Trying to stay really tall. A little weight on my right seat bone so he can step underneath of me. And then I'm going to go shoulder in right on the quarter line. And we're kind of slow here. Let's see if I can give him some more energy. Go, go, go. And I'm still on my right seat bone. And then I bring his shoulders right around. That's okay. That's a little more energetic. Good boy. He likes to tip his nose a little bit left. Let's see if we can make that a little better. So we're going to go haunches in or half past a V. So we can get some energy. Come on. Wake up. And then shoulder in down the quarter line. And then get some energy. A little jump here. And turn. And we want to turn the shoulders. There we go. There's the shoulders. That's it. Good boy. And then we'll do another one over here. Let's do sure half past S with energy. Shoulder in down the center line with energy. There we go, getting to jump a little bit. And then bring the shoulders around. There we go. That was really good. Good boy. And then again, you can just kind of do this all around the arena. It's a great warm up. Just half pass, shoulder in, pirouette. Half pass, shoulder in, pirouette. It's not too tricky. Shoulder in, energy, and pirouette. Bring the shoulders around. There we go, that's a little better shape. That's it. Let's do one more. Center line again. Let's see, ideally your walk pirouette is very small. It's, a lot of times I had issues, they got too big or the, the hind legs weren't moving and so this kind of makes it so your horse is responsive to all your, your leg aids. But the main thing is moving the shoulder. There we got a little bit slow, not too bad though. Making sure the shoulder stays up and active and that the feet don't quit. You don't, wanna, you don't want the feet to quit like in a reining horse. A reining horse, the feet are still, the hind feet are not active. 
in the dressage horse they are. I said one more, but let's do one more for funsies. To R. Half pass with energy. The left leg is a little bit behind the girth, asking for its haunches to come over. And then my right leg comes to the girth and asks for the shoulder in. My left hand is just keeping him from turning. And then my left leg comes back and asks for the pirouette. So one of my trainers said it's kind of a symphony when you ride. All right. So hopefully that helps play with the walk pirouette. And then the walk pirouette eventually becomes the canter pirouette.